This video is about how to remember logic gates, the different types, and we'll also go through an example of how to do it, the truth table for a logic gate circuit and that sort of thing. So um, the symbols, right? Some of them are easy to remember and one I just can't figure out. And is easy because it's got a D in it. The AND gate looks like a D. That's, that's easy to remember, isn't it? The NOT has got a dot. If you see a dot, it's NOT. NOT. It is a NOT. A dot is a NOT, right? So uh, that's a NOT gate. Like a triangle with a dot. Um, you can also put a dot in front of other things like uh, an AND gate. Now it's a NOT AND gate with a dot. Uh, it's a NAND. Or an OR gate, so dot OR or NOT OR is a NOR gate. Yeah. Um, you can also have um, exclusive gates. We'll talk about those in one second. But just on the OR gate, how do I remember that? I can't. I can't think of something good for this. Um, I have there Orion the Hunter's bow. It's kind of like, I just think it looks like a Star Trek badge. And for some reason, I remember that's an OR. I mean, you could also maybe think of an AND gate and then like bite out an Oreo sized shape out of the back. Like it looks like an Oreo crashed into it, you know? Um, and that kind of makes a, but then it's, it's, it's pointy at the end. That doesn't account for that. Um, do you know what I, in my head, I honestly think it looks like an oar, like, like for rowing a boat, like a paddle. Um, but, uh, I went to put in images for Google images and I couldn't find a single oar that actually looked like that shape. It turns out that the, uh, the sailing center I used to work in, we just had really rubbish oars that were, I guess we were having like you know, Darth Maul lightsaber battles with them and they just broke off. I just thought they all looked like that, but apparently that was just ours. So anyway, or that's the shape it is. The exclusive or has an extra line on it. Mm. It's like, so that's your Orion bow. You've got a double string on that bow. Um, and that basically just means one or the other, but not both. You got to be careful as well. When you say or in computer science, it's a little slightly different than in real life because if you say peanut butter or a cheese sandwich, please, um, they can bring you peanut butter. They can bring you cheese, but they are totally legit allowed to mix the peanut butter into cheese and hand it over to you and say, technically, it's one or the other or both. You didn't say not both. So watch out. That's a bit different. Um, and means exactly the same thing. So you expect a peanut butter sandwich or a cheese sandwich uh, together when you say and. You know, you know what you're getting. I don't know why you would ever do that, but that's what you ask for. You don't want one, you don't want the other. You want peanut butter and cheese and a sandwich. There's nothing to be said for you. Um, now, peanut butter exclusively or cheese means I want peanut butter or I want cheese, but I certainly don't want both, one or the other. So I don't want neither, I don't want both, I want one or the other. That is exclusively or, okay? That's what X or means. Right, so here's all of the combinations of the kind of truth tables that you need to know. But the good news is this is actually only two. It's only two. There's only and and or. Everything else is sort of just a derivative. It's either the flipped not version of it or the exclusive exception. So let's start off with um, you've got an A and B input. So just think of these as two light switches, right? They can have on, one, off, zero. So both light switches could be off, zero, zero. The one on the right could be on, the one on the left could be on, or they could both be on. That's all of the possibilities. So now, if you get, uh, let's look at or first, all right? If you say A or B, and you, you, know, you get zero and zero, well, that's not what A or B means. A or B, you expect one of them to be off. So that will not fulfill an, an or condition and that's going to give you a zero. Okay. So I guess you could say if it makes it through the gate, it gets a one, you know, but an or gate will stop two um, zeros because that ain't or, you know, we know what I want Mars, a bar and a Snickers and someone comes up and goes, guess what? I got you none. I'm going to be like, that ain't or, that's not what or means. Um, so I get a zero. Now, if they came up with a one Mars bar or one Snickers, that will be fine. So here I can say that I get a one and a one there. And if they give me both, you know, I'm not going to complain. Um, I'll take either or both. Uh, so I get a one there. And as I said, in computer science, it means one or the other or both. That's what or means.
So for the AND gate here, um, if I get 0 and 0 for A and B, well, that's not AND. I want both of them, not none of them. And neither will 0, 1 or 1, 0 work because I don't want just one of them. I want both of them. And that's why the only thing that will make it through an AND gate and, and return a true or 1 is if both of them are 1, 1 and 1 for A and B. OK, so I skipped a few columns. Well, that's because they're just the not versions of what we've talked about so far. Um, not A, you just take column A and you flip it. Everywhere you see 1, you put a 0. Everywhere you see a 0, you put a 1. Same with B. You just flip it. Um, what about OR? Well, you just not OR. You just take the OR column, A or B, and you just invert it. Everywhere you see a 0, put a 1. Every 1, put a 0. Same with AND becomes NAND, flip that column. And the last thing we'll talk about is the exclusive one. So that's just the exact same as the OR column, with the exception that we no longer accept both inputs being one, okay? Like the AND condition, I suppose. It's exclusively either A or B, but both of them can't be on. Both of them can't be set to true. Or we also don't accept neither, you know? So that's like the situation with the cheese and the peanut butter. Exclusively is kind of what you're going for there. So the good news, as I said, is there's just really two columns here. Um, there's just or and there's and. And then there's the not versions. And I suppose you could say that there's the exclusive kind of version of, of or as well. Now this isn't specifically to do with logic gates, but I'm going to put this here anyway, because it's got to do with logical operators and Boolean values. I used to say this wrong, and I've heard a lot of people kind of throw around things like, oh yeah, like a bool, like and, or like, no, 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 no. There, most things in programming are actually operators. Boolean values or data types are only either one or zero, true or false, high or low, on or off. They're used to describe a light switch situation, okay? So a Boolean value can be like right or left, it can be up or down, it can be good or evil. As long as there's two possible states, that could be described as a Boolean value, right? But AND and OR and NOT are not, yeah, they're used often with logic gates, but they are not Boolean values. They're actually logical operators. Um, adding and equal signs are assignment uh, operators, like, well, certainly in Python, when you use the equal sign to assign something um, to a certain variable, comparison operators are bigger than or less than, um, and arithmetic, well, you know, you do basic arithmetic, it's adding stuff. So they're the types of operators. So if you're asked, what is this thing in an exam, just say, it's an operator. And if you're feeling daring, if it looks like a, a maths, say arithmetic, if it looks like bigger than less than, say, com you're comparing two things in comparison, if you're looking at an equal sign, it's assignment and, and an or, or not are logical operators. So just think of like of, of an operator. Um, special Forces guy, you know, he's an operator. A logical one would be like a Vulcan, like a Star Trek Vulcan Special Forces dude. That would be a logical operator. Okay, so let's do one of these classic exam -y type questions. So the sort of algorithm here is we move from the left to the right. We do a gate at a time. We look to get two inputs and then we just look at what's coming out of that. Okay, so we're just zooming into one part at a time, working from left to right and Often the outputs of the gates aren't labeled. We just make a brown label. All right, so let's do it. So let's start off with the not gate there. I can see it's a not because it's got a dot. Uh, it's got a triangle as well. So it's trying to play, it's trying to go this way, but it can't because there's a dot there. It's not. So everything gets flipped and inverted when it goes through there. What's getting flipped and inverted? It's column A. Because if you trace it back, you can see this little dot there. And that's where those wires are joined. If there's not a dot, often it means that that wire is jumping over the other in an intersection. Um, so just make sure there is a dot there, they're actually connected. So that is A going in the back of that gate, and we're gonna call it Q going out. Why Q? Why not? Just make up a letter, okay? Because we're gonna need to write a little column beside it. So we're gonna write out all the possibilities of A and B are two inputs, and we're also gonna put a new column beside it there for not A, which is basically A backwards. So everywhere we see a zero, we put a one, zero, one, one zero and one zero. There we go. So that is all the possibilities at that point Q, the output of the NOT gate. So as I said, we're going left to right 
one logic gate at a time. Now we can go on to the, the one in the middle there, which let's say it looks like a weird or or an Orion type. It's an or gate, right? Star Trek badge thing. Um, we now have calculated the the top wire, all the possibilities going in there. We already have written out the column for B, so we've got the column for each of those wires ready to go. Okay, so we're going to go down through these two columns, B Q B Q B Q all the way down, and we're going to just make sure that we combine the two column pairs in an OR kind of fashion. Like we only return uh, a zero if we get two zeros, because that's what an OR would do, right? So do we get two zeros for the first one? No, like zero, one is fine. You give me a Mars bar, I'll be happy. One, one, yeah, I'll take a Mars bar and a Snickers, that's fine. Zero, zero, I expected at least one, I said OR. So that's zero, I'm not happy with that at all. A one, zero, yeah, fine, that's grand. Okay, so we'll call that Z there and they are our answers. And now we actually have the wire going into the final gate. Can you figure out what kind of gate that is? It looks like the letter D and it's a AND gate for D and D. Um, so we already have column A going into the top of that AND gate. We've now calculated the wire um, going into the bottom of it. So we've got the two inputs. All we have to do is basically take the columns on the truth table for those two inputs and compare them uh, in a way that uses an AND gate. So let's take column A and let's take column Z and compare each of the pairs of values. So let's see if they get through an AND gate. So let's see, AND, the only, the only thing that will ever get through an AND gate with a one is when both of them are one. All right, so you can pretty much look for that and then just fill in everything else as zeros. So let's just see, um, I'm looking at this. The only thing, the, the very last one there, the last one on A and the last one on Z, both of them are one, so that will get through an AND gate. Everything else, I don't even have to look at it, it's zero. One, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, zero. It's not gonna get through an AND gate. You need both, AND means I want both. And there's my answers when I write them in uh, for the output Y. So it's 0001, and what's nice about this is I can start answering exam questions. So classic one might be, if inputs A and B are zero, what will be the output of Y? Well, now you can just read your truth table. Zero, zero, well, it's that, it's that row there, isn't it? Look, there's the answer, zero. What about if A was one and B was zero? Well, it's zero. What about if both of them are set to one? Well, it's one. I can just read the table right there. So if you get three inputs in an exam and the examiner's just being really cruel, they're not being cruel. This is great. This is no harder, it's just longer. So they're just killing exam time, letting you do the same thing a little bit, a little bit more. Um, so there's more combinations. The trick to get through this is actually count in binary because that will do all of your uh, combinations for A, B, and C. So it's the exact same thing again, there's just more inputs. The last thing I'll show you is the NAND trick real classic and A-level questions. Um, if they, if basically you get a NAND gate and you solder the two inputs together, what's gonna happen? Well, a one coming in on the left will now be two ones. And for NAND, so that's like not AND, so AND would just let a one through. Not AND will let a zero through, uh, only, only a zero. Nothing else, just needs two zeros, right? So what will happen there is you'll get a zero. A one will come on the left and a zero will come out on the right. And then if you think of it, the other thing is if you set that wire to zero, you've got two zeros. So that's going to set that to a one instead. So basically you've flipped a one to a zero and you've flipped a zero to one. You have made a not gate out of a NAND gate. There you go. If you just tie the things together, you get a not. And the implications I was saying that are kind of interesting is because you can actually get a not from a NAND, you can use that just repeatedly, just NAND, 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 to make every other possible gate. So you can make ORs, you can make NORs, and exclusively ORs, all just out of NANDs. So if that's all you got in your briefcase, you're sorted. You can literally make Call of Duty, the next one, out of NAND gates. Nothing else, just NAND, 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 NAND.